and I'll give you two narrations from the Quran. So one of the Qureshis was killed by the, by the Muslim. And then these Qureshis, they started saying, oh, you killed an innocent, you killed people, you killed a person in, in the sacred place, in the sacred month. And I'll give you two narrations from the Quran. Musa alayhi salam, you know how strong he was? How strong? Hmm? There was an argument which was going on between an Israelite and a, a, a person from the Bani Israel and the Egyptian. So Musa alayhi salam, he went and he tried to settle the dispute. And in that dispute, he just pushed the person or pushed and he pushed the Egyptian soldier just like this. You know, he punched him. And in one punch, what happened? He died. So you can see how strong Musa Islam was. And then when Musa Islam, he ran away from there. And after so many years, when Allah chose him as a prophet, he came back. Allah said, go and warn Pharaoh. He went to the court of Pharaoh. He warned him. He said, come to the right path. And then Pharaoh, what did he say? So you are coming to me and asking me to do this and do that. And you are guilty of a murder. You killed a person. Pharaoh knew that. Musa Salam accidentally he punched that person and he was he died. And now Pharaoh in public, what is he doing? You know, you you are guilty. You killed an innocent. So Musa Salam, what did he say? He said, Yes, I did. I did kill an innocent person accidentally. He acknowledged, he accepted. But what about you? How can you teach me when you have been oppressing Bani Israel for, for decades? You have been persecuting people and now you are asking me and you are reminding me of one murder? When you have been murdering people? and persecuting people and oppressing people for so long. How can you remind me of that? The second narration is when our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he proclaimed prophethood. And then he was again, the Quraysh persecuted the Muslims initially in Makkah. The, Mac the Muslims had to migrate from Makkah to Medina. You see what happened with Bilal Raziallahu An, with the family of Ammar Raziallahu An. Yasir, his father, Sumayya, his mother, Razi Allah Majmain. So, the kind of persecution that Quraysh were doing. And then what happened? In one of the incidents, it, which is mentioned in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he relates it, that one of the Qurayshis was killed in the area of Haram. And during the sacred month, the four months in which it is forbidden to go for war, to kill people, and you can't kill a person in Haram, the area which is of Makkah and Medina, that is called as Haram. So one of the Qureshis was killed by the, by the Muslim and then these Qureshis, they started saying, oh, you killed an innocent, you killed people, you killed a person in, in the sacred place, in the sacred month. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said, Muslims were, you know, Muslims went to the Prophet, he said, they are claiming this. That we have killed a person in the sacred month, in the sacred place. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed that these people, they are telling you. And they are reminding you of one person being killed in the sacred month. Yes, it is forbidden. It is not permitted to kill a person in sacred months or in the sacred place of haram. But what about people being persecuted for so long? What have you done to the Muslims in the past? He said, what the kind of fitna you have spread since so many years? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed Al-fitna to ashaddu min al-qatl That fitna is greater than even killing people The fasad that you are spreading 